day five, pandemonium. So what happened was, um, Bruce exploded, as you've seen on our early videos, Bruce exploded his diff, his transmission, whatever. He drove it yesterday to the pub and the sound in the car was unbearable. I said, if you put on the truck, it's not a real serious event, we'll have something for you tomorrow so you can stay in good competition because all he wants is his sticker. So that was a the race then, that was the slowest car in our event and the, and the transporter won. So he's in competition, he's got his sticker. So that's what that was all about. It's all about having fun, everyone had a good time. So uh, yeah, today's gonna be lit, stay tuned. What have you done to John's truck? <laughs> oh, nothing, just give it a rubber coating. It needs that for any slip. Yeah, we won. We won, yes. We're a winner. Thanks to Johnny, we're, we're all winners. <laughs> ah, look, it just got to the point where it was making way too much noise. We had earplugs in and that sort of fixed it for a while, but it didn't, we were thinking of putting earplugs in the gearbox might have helped. But it's chewed up all the little bearings in the uh, lay shaft, so rather than just blow everything up on the side of the road and then have to get towed here, we got Johnny to to put it on the back of his 64 Mercury which just looks period correct with the 63 Falcon on it and um, towed us the last few hundred k's here and then today we'll at least be able to break the beams and say we sort of finished <laughs> so that's the plan but just look big wraps to Harry and the boys his dad cooking brekkie for everyone you know it's just been awesome yeah great event sensational just loved every minute of it and uh when we get it fixed we'll be back for the next one for sure or another car we'll see what happens yeah yeah well we've had our ups and downs we we um collected a bloody kangaroo on the way on the first uh drive day which was um not really entertaining didn't do a great deal of damage just a couple little little scratches and a bit of you know I know, make it look a little bit used and and uh, worn out, but other than that, we're we're here for another run today and hopefully turn one right on. I'm heading uh, in the vicinity for of a of a bloody mid eight, like an eight fifty. So if I can get that, that'll be a PB for me, all of us, and we'll just keep on getting faster. I hope. I'm pretty sure we're in front at the moment, but we'll see. We'll see where we end up at the end of the day. We've still got to get to the end of it, don't we? I'm going to try and leave at four. Just let it eat on 10 pound off the line and see what happens. So hopefully this is the one and done. <laughs> Ambitious. <laughs> pass and um, on the big end it, it shut off and locked up and I, um, I got to the end of the track and the car was locked up so it wouldn't start at all. Can you grab some rain? Um, yeah and we found out now that uh, the blower, so it's come the gears inside the blower have actually locked up um, which we have mucked around for with in the past. They're all sort of phased, um, they've got a special uh, sink uh, with them so I don't know but the car runs NA, but at the moment, not with a blower. So we'll get down to the bottom of it anyway. So, yeah. What are the chances you'll be able to fix it? Uh, not today, none, <laughs> zilch. But it'll be back one day.
from Wangaratta, Victoria, just up the road here, and this is me 73 HQ Kingswood. So, and what's she been doing this week? Oh, a bit of drag racing and a lot of burnouts. <laughs> Come here pretty much for the trailer skids because you watch the American ones and they have that much fun doing it, so I thought, oh well, my turn. <laughs> I've never been in a strip before. Um, went first first time Monday and went a 12-0. That's my first pass and that's my quickest quickest one so far. But uh, still trying to work it out. I think I'm over revving it. And I have no idea what I'm doing. And then will be. I went quicker in the eighth, four and a half tenths quicker. So I'm pretty keen to get it down here. But my fuel tank keeps splitting. So I already had to have it re-welded once and split again last night. So it's currently fixed with a bar of soap. So just yeah, what's, what's the soap fix? fixes a crack apparently the fuel it rejects fuel so yeah literally get a bar of soap find the crack and just cake it on and put tape over it to hold the soap there bottle it back in fill it back up and it's good to go and yeah it just cakes on beautiful and <laughs> fixes the split so yeah that's awesome got me from Tommy pub the other day back to Wangaratta and it got me last night from Echuca back to Heathkit <laughs> My name's uh, Dave, I'm from Devon Meadows. Um, I entered uh, my 1973 LJ Tirana. Um, just want to give a big shout out to Harry, Ryan, uh, Dicko and all the Hall Ass Garage crew. It's been an awesome week. Um, to allow stock cars to enter such an event, we've had an absolute ball, me and my son. Yeah, it's been bloody awesome. So well done guys, thank you very much. I'm Dominic Pally. I'm from um, up in the Hawkesbury, New South Wales, a place called Landilo. Uh, it's me 68 HK Kingswood. I've had it for about 27 years. 
Um, so we're just running a, a Gen 4 rotted stock uh, bottom end stock cam shaft 5.7 in it with a little 75, 78 VS racing turbo. Um, it's got a power glide trans, uh, 35 spline 9 inch. Um, and so far it's best of 9.9 nine. and we ran 6.480 the other day out at uh, Wilby. So that's it. So I first started Drag Challenge, the first one I'd done was in the HK. I'd done 2016, 2017 in, in this car and then we built the Sigma as a drag and drive car. Um, so we've done really well in that in the 235 tyre class. Um, and then when Harry put this show on, I thought this would be a perfect car. We've got six seats in it, we can fit all my mates and bring it back out of the shed and, and um, give it another revival. And it's been good actually, I haven't driven it for a couple of years, so I've fallen in love with it again. And um, yeah, we've had a ball. Heathgate here on Monday morning, um, ran 9.9 first up, which was great. And then I uh, had the opportunity to throw me mates that are always helping me with the car, so we've done a few laps with them boys in it. Um, I run 10.20 with me mates in the car. Uh, one, one at a time, obviously. Went out to Wilby, absolute best day of racing. Hey! Best day of racing I've ever had out at Wilby, and I've been drag racing for a long time, absolutely loved it, and definitely will be back. Um, Mick Brady out there and Dusty Benson really looked after me while I was out there. Um, put me where I needed to be, got it all sorted. We ended up running at 6.40, so I was stoked with that. That's nearly PB for this car. It's only a couple tenths off, uh, a couple thousandths off. Um, and that's my kind of racing, grassroots racing, getting out there, the gravel, the mud, the smell. It was, um, it was absolutely awesome. Stayed in uh, Echuca last night, got up nice and early this morning to, to get out here and we're planning on having a, having a great day out here today and hopefully I'll put a good number down to try and stay on top of the, the, the class um, and then hopefully get to take the boys for a lap again and, and let our hair down a bit tonight and then head off to Sydney tomorrow. I'm Jordan from Narrow One South. It's Jaden. Hi. Tell us about the car, Jaden. Um, not much special about it, just manual LS, first time driving. Um, just having some fun. And what's the situation with Young Guns at the moment? We're both leading um, by a bit. <laughs> um, I ran 14 2 on the first day, and then 9 1 on the second day at Willby or whatever. I think I went, what, 14-4, and then a 9-3, and yeah. So how far back do you need, how much do you need to make up on him? Not much, pretty close. And what's going to happen today? Well, I'm going to run 14-2 again, and win, and then I'll go 13s later. I'm just going to try and run a time, get as close, and then have fun. Alright, what's your prediction for him? I want him to go fast, but I want to win. 
So I reckon maybe I reckon you might go 14.5 14 fire, I reckon, yeah. Now we've um, the best we've got to nine two on the second run, and we're going to go out and give it a couple more runs and try and get it into the eights. We just can't get it off the mark and just get it the hook. Um, get off it a couple of times and get back on it until we've got traction, and then just let it eat as much as we can. But yeah, it just it just won't let us hook it off the mark. I'll start mucking around with suspension at the back if it doesn't hook this time but I think it's physically just track really so yeah we're just back to sort of hunting chasing driving it driving our way to the end I think so yeah but best part about it is it's a shitload of fun isn't it you know like that's the best part about the whole thing is just it's been a blast really so whether we, um, even if we came in last, which I don't think we're going to, but mate, you can't, you couldn't swap this for anything, it's great. Good times. Captain here, Brooksy as he's known, uh, absolutely annihilated his automatic transmission at Wilby. 
They've been thrashing for two days to get it fixed. I think Adam at ATS, good mate of ours, has got it fixed up for him. And he's uh, back, back on deck, so we'll see what happens here. Hopefully they tighten everything up. today been Nathan? Uh, it's been good mate but it's a bit off its time. Um, hanging for a beer bro. Really badly. And what number are you so, shooting for here? Uh, 980. See what it does. Uh, went 10 OB last pass but I think the air is I think it's 2,000 feet or something at the moment so see what happens. Eh? How much you got? Five bucks on the dodge. Five on the dodge? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll take the Chev. All You're right. on. Pay up. Thank you. Bloody hell. That's my boy over there. I was looking good, wasn't I, for three quarters of the race? You thought it was a really done deal. Well done. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank you, Dicko. <laughs>
Oh, he went in the 18s. <laughs> Something was betting. I lost a 50 on him this morning. They went within one tenth of each other. Now oh. our mate's just put the power tune in it. He's must have like, given her a handful of ignition or he's done something. Anyway, the world's most boring size race, but it was good this morning. Anyway, back to your regular programming. Top two uh, in uh, the hard ass 1000 is going for the overall win. We've got uh, Rod and uh, Lurch coming up. So. got the eight we're pretty happy we didn't get to the eight four like we wanted to but eight sevens close enough for the day uh, we've just had the parts rip off the first shoot of the parachute and uh, we're just gonna call it a day and um, hope for the best I think we've got it all in the bag you think you got the win I think I've got the win I hope I hope we've got the whole lot looks like Lurch is going back out yep yeah by the look of it he'll give it another run but yeah I, I don't think it's even gonna worry me to get back on it now I think I'm just it's beer time I just need a rest yeah we've 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 finally got there thanks to me mate great northern here we'll um we'll have a few of these and enjoy life I think try pack shoot and get everything done before the lane shuts a uh, bit of a rush rush situation <laughs> hopefully we can pull it together you, do you know what sort of number you need? Uh, I need a 870 something. 870, you can do that. Yeah. Well, the car's got it in it for sure, but it's just whether or not it'll leave. I thought it was going to go up on the bumper before, so I got out of it. So. Yeah, it likes to jump on the line a lot. <laughs> it likes to jump around. Yeah, it's not so. This is only that was only its third radial pass or slick pass, sorry. I'm just gonna finish properly, break the beams at least and roll down. I didn't want to do it early in case it shit itself and dropped oil everywhere. <laughs> It's fucking awesome. About time. Yep, I, I've had the best time of my friggin' life. Maybe because I won, but I've had a great time. It's awesome. Like, it's a good feeling. I, I've done this shit for a long time. I've wasted a fucking heap of money. I've built shit from nothing. Uh, the whole This whole car is built by me in my shed, my engine, my gearbox, my diff, my everything. And 
I reckon credit to anyone who goes out and builds their own crap. It just makes me happier. Good times. Fucking awesome. Thank you. So the hard ass 1000 towards the end of the day is pure pandemonium and just the way we like it. All you whiny little bitches that whinged about burnouts during the week, let a kick of burnouts Australia. Check this out. Now!